Chancellor, uh, dear hosts, ministers, excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be back in Berkeley. Um, I was here, I used some time here, I spent some time here a few years back while I was doing my BA. Um, so we were at the Palo Alto yesterday uh, and today in Berkeley, so it's good to be back here. Um, and to be at the Transatlantic Science Week, that's exciting. Science Week is all about cooperation and about creating new partnerships and strengthening old ones. That is what we will all be aiming for during this week at Berkeley and at Stanford. I've learned with time that actually some good things also come out of Stanford. <laughs> um, in many ways, but I think there's, there's two days here and one day at Stanford, right? <laughs> In many ways, the relations between our countries are all about cooperation. We have a long history of strong and diverse ties. This is one of the reasons why so many Norwegians cross the Atlantic every year, to study, to do research, research or do business. It is also one of the reasons why I'm here today, and why my parents, the King and Queen of Norway, were here in the Midwest and New York just a few days ago. There are many stories of Norwegian immigrants who came to America to learn, work hard, and prosper. One that is particularly relevant here is the story of Peter Setter. Peter Setter was a visionary. Although he had left Norway without much formal education, or perhaps because of this, Peter Setter actively sought to provide others with the opportunities that he had not had. He saw the value of good education at an early age. Having made success in New York, he became one of the early trustees of the College of California and an active participant in what later became the University of California system. True to his spirit, his widow do donated funding to UC Berkeley for the tower, the bell, and the Peter Seater chair. Together, the Seaters opened a path to education and research that many Norwegians follow to this, to this day, including myself, I guess, a few years back. And today, many years later, our countries and continents are cooperating in research, education and innovation, seeking to find solutions to tomorrow's problems today. Oscar Wilde once said, a dreamer is one who can only find his way by moonlight and his and his punishment is that he sees the dawn before the rest of the world. In many ways, researchers and entrepreneurs are dreamers too. Innovation requires the ability to dream, to think naturally, and to desire to make a difference. There are top flight researchers, innovators, and students on both sides of the Atlantic. They gain from cooperation, and so do the rest of us. That is why we are here today, to join forces in dealing with the challenges the world is facing. We need to find forms of clean energy. We need technology that helps us consume less energy, to do things in a smarter way. We need to explore space, the ocean and other lost frontiers to find solutions to our common challenges. To turn dreams into action, we need to cooperate across borders national borders, borders between different fields of research, and borders between academia and business. And that is what the Transatlantic <coughs> Science Week is all about. I often think of the time I had here at Berkeley. Being part of an international campus, campus broadened my horizons and helped me see the world in new ways. It is an enriching experience to cross borders. And I hope that you will take this opportunity to do so and to include the new generation of researchers and innovators in your endeavors. We need the next generation and their dreams to address the global challenges the world is facing. Thank you very much.